My name is uh, Jacob Jensen. My uh, area of responsibility is uh, data centers. I'm heading our data center vertical team in the Danfoss Climate Solutions business, which is one part of Danfoss. We are a founding member of the Net Zero Innovation Hub, established to help the data center industry, in this case in Europe, uh, solve some of these uh, key challenges that the industry will be standing in front of, and that is related to sustainability. So there is not unlimited amount of renewable energies, and in the European space we also have a possibility to reuse the heat. So jointly we have decided that it's better to go together and then solve these challenges together and find the solutions so we can help the industry continue growing. It's important to mention that the data center industry is the backbone of the digitalization or digital life. And therefore, we will continue seeing a growth in data centers as we are continuing to evolve our use of digital services. The Danfoss role in it is that we bring in knowledge around the components, applications, solutions. One of the areas that we are particularly strong in is heat reuse. How are we integrating data centers into the societies that they're part of how can we reuse the heat that they're generating? The Net Zero Innovation Hub in Europe is intended to be a pan-European initiative. If we look at Singapore, we already have a sustainable tropical data center testbed, and they are touching some of the areas. What we need to see is a wider collaboration with also institutions that are outside the industry, for example, utility companies. And that's why I think there is a great opportunity to create such an initiative here in Asia too. Hi, uh, my name is Daniel Wiesenfeller. I'm a business unit sales director responsible for the HVAC and refrigeration market and focusing, of course, obviously on data centers as well. The basic idea of, of Novenco and Danfoss collaboration is to put the most efficient parts and components together as one solution so that end customers can really save money, energy and CO2 on the operation of the application. So basically what we're doing is to take the most efficient HVAC drive with the FC102 together with the most efficient motor, which is normally a permanent magnet motor IE5 class and the most efficient fan, which is the Xerox fan from Novenco. So really having an HVAC drive that is considered for only air handling and air conditioning applications makes it so special. Altogether then is the EC Plus concept uh, with 85% system efficiency compared to the average of, let's say, 70% in the market. We're not only coming from a single Novenco and a single Danfoss perspective, but we're coming from a combined perspective with both expertise to understand the end customer needs. So what we do is to sit down together with the end customer, develop together on a solution based on their requirements. And as one example is that uh, we have new product developments um, for the data center market. And what we're doing is taking the solution, the potential solution, which is at the end coming from the Venko, but then equipped with our Danfoss technology, and then test it in application development centers where we put in the solution, we test the system, we test if the technical requirements from the end customer are fulfilled. So this kind of real life situation testing in our facilities and combining both the strengths of these companies really help to make the best innovation, the most energy efficient innovation for the market, for the end customer, and then obviously for the world to make it a more energy efficient place. Hello, my name is Chinmay Kulkarni and I work as a product manager at Danfoss Power Solutions, uh, essentially overlooking after this liquid cooling data center portfolio. So when it comes to Danfoss Power Solution, in relevance to data center, I can say Danfoss has the broadest portfolio for data center cooling in general. We aspire to be a solution provider when it comes to liquid cooling. What that means is we are scaling up our capabilities uh, to have solutions starting from CDU 
to an inside rack solutions. Now to do so, we are closely tracking and contributing into open compute project. And I can proudly say that we are the solution provider at open compute project. And as I said, we aspire to be a system solution provider. So we can really connect these things together and ensure that we deliver a best in class, most efficient fluid management solution for the liquid. The first thing I'll say is the reliability because you are introducing liquid on top of an IT gear, which is an electronic hardware. So even a single drop can create you know, massive downtime. So you have to ensure that the hardware you use, there are dripless connection and disconnection possibilities. So here, dripless couplings play a vital role. And as a Danfoss, we do recommend helium leak tested couplings because that's the best in class testing standard that we follow. And that ensures that there won't be any leak at any given point in time. The second thing that I would say is performance because ultimately we are doing this to reduce total cost of ownership and increase PUE. So you have to be careful about pressure drop at a system level, at a component level and hydraulic balancing that is there throughout CDU to the rack. Both of these things will have either way impact on your efficiency. And the third thing I would say is the scalability. One has to ensure that during this transition, manufacturing processes, uh, logistic, everything has been considered to reduce carbon footprint. The data center industry scales up really quickly. I mean, the overall cycle of growth is quick. And which is why vendors as well as OEMs will have to get ready quickly than you know the rest of the industry that we work with.